We are at the Pacific Coast Sport Fishing Show, and we're just walking through, checking things out. This whole episode is going to be about showing you guys what this show is about from my perspective, and then also to talk to some of the businesses out here and let them talk about some of their latest and greatest products and what they're actually up to. But right now, really quick, I know that some people have like dream boats, right? Some people like their Parkers, some people like their Stabie Crafts, like Leroy wants a Stabie Craft, or Duckworths or Defiance boats. But guys, you're gonna find this weird or you're gonna find it really cool. My dream boat is a Livingston 14 foot catamaran. And the beauty of something like this is you can take it anywhere, minimal fuel, you can land big game, or you can land small game. So it is super versatile. But I just wanted to show you, you guys should follow them on Instagram. I follow them on Instagram, it's Baja Panga. They do custom boats, and this one's sick. All right, how's it going? I'm Nate, this is Carlos with Baja Pongas. I want to talk a little bit about our boat. What's up, guys? Uh, we've been uh, working on 14.5 uh, catamaran. So we made it on time to the show. We are uh, happy to be here, good reactions. We put a lot of uh, work, effort, and time and money. So we are uh, here trying to sell the boat and taking orders. A little bit about us. We've been friends for a long time. We fish all up and down Baja together. And then one day we're like, you know, we want to make our own boat. Let's do it. So we started off and then we decided what we want to build. I fished on catamarans a lot when I was young and all my friends had catamarans. So I was one of the first products I wanted to do is build my dream catamaran. And this is what we end up with. Yeah, now uh, we, we were uh, working on a, a pongas, a panga style. Uh, we had a couple molds, different sizes of panga, working in a new uh, size of uh, cat. And uh, we'll see what the future is. We really focus on, on the build, like using quality materials, solid uh, boats that can last forever. So this is a sample of our hole right here. 100% hand laid construction. I mean, we're all, uh, open to any kind of uh, jobs. We do paint, paint. paint. We build bay tanks. Uh, mm. And we're more than uh, welcome uh, to ask through Instagram or Facebook, whatever questions about how to build, how to use, uh, whatever whatever people need to know, we can share all the uh, knowledge. One day, guys, on the channel, we're gonna be fishing on one of these, possibly owning one. It will do it. It yeah. Will do it. Carlos, thank you so much, Thank you man. so much. Seeing it in person is way better than just seeing on Instagram, but follow them on Instagram, check them out. You're gonna be inspired too. Thank you, guys. So about four years ago, we did that secret bait video with the Krusties, had everybody at the edge of their seat. I'm actually here with Glenn Young. He's the national sales director for Z-Man. And he gave me some background on, this was actually made for... This was originally made for Australia. It was a bait that they wanted there for their brim fishing market. So it's a very, very popular bait there, but it really took off here in the surf perch market, which was kind of by accident, we hadn't intended that to happen, but guys like this kind of made it happen. And that's how it came about, which we're th very, very thankful for because now it's a staple in the surf fishing market, is the Krusties. But we also, we have a new bait this year that we introduced that I think will also find a home in that market. And it's called the Salty Ned Shrimp. So it's just a small little shrimp profile, has a lot of action to it. And like any other Z-Man product, of course, it's made from Elastec, so it's got buoyancy, natural buoyancy. Yeah. It's going to have a lot of action to it, and it'll absorb scent. So anything oil-based, you can put on here, and it will soak right in. But that is the Salty Ned Shrimp. So we have that in a wide variety of colors, too, so I'm sure you can mix and match for your water conditions. This one here is called Beer Run, too, and this is, this is what we call Sexy Penny. But it's a great little bit. I think it's going to find a home in the surf perch market. I mean, it's, it's a, basically, it's a small shrimp. Well, guys. Yep, really cool to see this. Here's some underwater footage of exactly how it looks. Yeah, so that's if you wanted to fish it on a swimming retrieve, then the tail has some action to it. Yeah, on a Carolina rig, that's what it would look like. It would, yes. Yeah, it's hard to show it on in this container. Yeah, there's right here. Not, yeah, you can do a Carolina rig in here. Our Carolina rig would be from here to there. Yeah. So, yeah, this is that's the best we can do. But Glenn Young, 
thank you once again. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Glad you came by. Before we actually spoke to Glenn, we stopped by at the Hookup Bait booth where Chad and Jojo showed us the brand new colors for the hookup baits. And you know we love our hookup baits. Hey guys, you're at the PCS show on the Saturday, third day of the show. It's been a great show, we got one more day. I want to show you the new colors we have. That's called the Midnight. Look at that dude. Really good bait, we've been using it for years. Now it's available to our customers. Super good bait. Here's the bigger one, Yellowtail Killer right there, one and a half. Sexy sardine. We had these out at the show last year and now they're back. So that's a limited edition. Here's a new color. This is going to be a standard product. The green pumpkin. I've been winning all the spotted bay bass tournaments. Almost all the fish have been on this color here. And the quarter ounce size. And then the new pyramid lake chub. Uh, it's just like our chub but now with a yellow lateral line and a darker brown on top. The more match the chubs and pyramid lake but also, it's a spotted bay bass, it's a small calico bass, it's a lizard fish. It catches all kinds of stuff really well. So, those are the four colors we have at the show at the Hookup Baits booth. We also have these. These are new. Came out at fall. This is the three ounce and the two ounce. Um, Turner's Outdoorsman, right across from us, has these. Um, they're 20% off there. So, that is the best yellowtail lure you'll ever use in your life. Well, I've been using it for years. <laughs> if you're near squid beds, these suckers, get eaten up anywhere near a squid bed. They're eaten instantly, so make sure you grab those two. Um, Turner's Outdoorsman and Performance Tackle both have hookup baits and they have dills on them. We have the limited edition colors and new colors here at our booth. So come see us, guys. And a seminar tonight at 6 o'clock all about Pyramid Lake, Nevada, catching those big cutthroats. I'm going over everything on, like, from even where to get gas on your way there, because that's a big thing. <laughs> you don't want to buy gas in the middle of the Sierras. So where to stop for gas, where to get your lodging, guides, baits to use at different times of the year, how to fish the lake, boat, kayak, float tube, ladders, shore. I'm gonna go everything you ever need to know on Fishing Pyramid Lake at tonight at six o'clock here at the PCS show. Sarah. Uh podcast has really taken off. We have a lot more planned this year. We love the interviews, the energy, yeah. and uh, you can catch that on our YouTube or our website, uh, Waypoint TV, and all of the podcast lineups. Yeah. So, yeah. lots more to come this year. Yeah, Ed's going to be on it eventually. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>
we want to bring awareness to the Friends of Rollo. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that charity. Takes kids fishing. So we numbered every of these baits, one to 500. They got number one signed by the owner creator of the Mad Max, Damon Olson. The owner creator of, of Nomad Designs. So they're auction, auctioning that off um, here at the show uh, to, to raise money to take the kids fishing. So the way you get this is through our dealers here, they get 24 units a day per dealer. And uh, it's just kind of going to be a cool show special. Uh, kind of a way to say thank you from Nomad to the Southern California for making such an awesome bait to fish. Yeah. Guys, if you guys, if, if any of you who are watching this end up getting one in your possession, please use it and provide the catch of fish. Yes, yes. You don't got to try That's that the poor, man. That's but the yeah. poor. Well, any, any last words about the, the Mad Mac at all? No, man. Actually, have you seen that yet, though? Oh, the casting version. The casting version. The one what? 130, 130. 130. So, I have no idea what happened to the audio here, but this is Sean Loy. He is the national sales director of Nomad, and we really nerded out on the Mad Max. We talked about what Nomad has coming, which is the Squid Tricks. It's their latest, greatest. But going back to this 130, it's a casting bait. It's one size lower than the 160, and we have seen people catch bluefin tuna on the cast, and it was just really cool to meet somebody who's so invested and involved in a design that has put so many tuna on the boat. It's really a shame that the audio got messed up on this because Sean is definitely a good character and it speaks volumes of Nomad as a company that they have guys like this representing them at big shows here on our coast. Thank you, Sean, and thank you, Nomad. This is our second annual visit. We came last year, we were impressed. Um, but we wanted to come this year because we've heard that there's a lot more vendors and we wanted to bring you, Edward, because there's never too much tackle in your garage. There's never too much tackle in your backpack because you do find stuff that you can use. Sometimes you don't always use it, but this is a place where you meet, you greet, and you meet other fishermen that are having a good time and you share knowledge. You don't always share knowledge when you're fishermen. So this is the place to do it. Leroy, the cameraman, enjoying his pretzel. All right, man. Food of the champions. It was a great show today, man. Saw a lot of people. Edward saw a lot of new fans that that have been subscribers and fans of his channel, but he didn't, never met them until today. So it was pretty cool. Like you said, your friends are out there, you just haven't met them yet, right? Right. Yeah, so a good contact. So I literally like went to another booth and I like talked with a friend of mine. Right. We talked for maybe like five minutes and the, the microphone was off. Let me just double check one more time. Yeah, <laughs> Guys, this is amazing. The cool thing about shows like this, if you haven't gone, definitely go because you get to run into some really familiar faces. And you guys have seen Brian Mission Fish Barber on the channel because he does amazing work with Mission Fish. So we're taking this moment to remind you that there are opportunities for veterans, first responders, active duties, and Gold Star families. Take it from there. So we're at Mission Fish. What we do is we provide uh, fishing therapy for our veterans, our active duty, first responders, and our Gold Star families at zero cost to them. They don't pay nothing. All they do is sign up through our website, hit the subscribe button, and send them an email when the trip comes up, and they're on our trip. He's been on a trip with us, right? Yeah, we went on an amazing trip out of Ventura, Channel Islands. They got four other boats involved. Four other boats. And took veterans, first responders, uh, active duty, right. and we Both, right? put them on fish. It was yeah, fun. I mean, he got to fish with a couple of veterans that never fished before, so I mean, you got to see us all the way around. You got to see us on the water. You got to see us doing our thing here. When you interact with the right. military and, and the, the people that come on these trips, right. they are sincerely grateful. Right. Like, this is stuff right. that is a lot of the times thankless. Like, right. when we were out there, they were out there at like, like, Four o'clock in the morning, yes, sir. and then didn't leave until maybe six, seven yeah, o'clock at had night. Yeah, full day, full day of fishing, and yeah. then we interacted on the boat, and then we shared stories. When we got back, but all at the time we're doing that is we're all healing, healing from the inside. Yeah, you can't go wrong. We've talked about it before. Right, yes, sir. That it's all I, worth I, it. Every the, second, yeah, the, the every reward is great. The reward is great. I my my thing is watching them catch their first fish. When they get there, very reserved. 
kind of insecure. Next thing you know, they're high fiving, and I mean, you've seen it. You've seen it. You saw a couple guys fish next to you that were kind of quiet, yeah. and all of a sudden you're like, "Here you go!" And they opened up the flag, and they were like, "Yeah!" And that's you know, that was it. High fives all the way around. Yeah. So guys, if you want to get involved, we will leave the links in the description to get involved right. with Mission Fish. Check us out, missionfishusa.org. All our social media platforms, Mission Fish USA. Hope to see you soon. All right. So we bypassed two buildings we're gonna come circle around but there's like how many buildings i think they said seven buildings of just full of fishing stuff so it's awesome we're skipping it because of this man right here that you're about to see speaking of familiar faces and somebody who is part of probably one of the most if not the most popular video of 2022 for this channel is seeker pro dennis Grote also known as Creaky Tiki. How you doing, Ed? Good to see you, brother. Good, I'm so good. Amazing. How's this been for you so far? The show's been fantastic. It's bigger than ever. We've had more interest than ever. And all indications are it's setting up for another absolutely banner, crazy year out there. Things are really looking positive. We have bluefin further north than they normally are this time of year. We have big schools already being spotted couple of boats are getting ready to try to go out and do some exploratory trips but all indications are it's going to be an epic year and you better believe it when creaky tiki says it's going to be an epic year it's going to be an epic year he was on the trip with us when we caught limits of yellowtail for about what 30 people 30 yeah 30 people this is a wide open by fly lining and he did do an instructional video where he butt hooked these sardines and fed him out on his nine foot Hercules rod. That's a question that a lot of people have been asking. Right. Right. And he's getting bit on these yellowtail. You guys, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. We'll leave it linked in the description. But yeah, tell us all about it. Remind us. One of the biggest changes we've had in fishing is braided line. Braided line has changed the whole game. And what we're seeing is, is people are starting to fish with smaller and smaller reels and more and more braid, less and less mono. Now, fishing with a mono top shot or straight mono is fine, but if you don't, you need to make up for that lack of stretch. Monofilament is so stretchy, so shock absorbing. If you're fishing straight braid to a floral leader, you lose that shock absorbing for when there's impacts, boat rocks, fish turns its head, something unexpected happens, fish freaks out. So that's why I've really been pushing those longer parabolic rods to fish with straight braid. It's another option, a whole other way to approach it, but you can fish the smaller reel, you know, less, less bulk of line to cast. You can cast easier, cast further, and have just a blast fighting the fish and still land the yeah. fish. Yeah, way less so, fatigue. Way less fatigue. Very manageable. Fish the rod more up instead of out with your back. Yeah, it, it's, for me, it's been a game changer. The fish is a the parabolic rod fish is a little bit different than the standard fast action rod, but once you get it down, it's much easier on you and you can fish it all day and just catch fish after fish. Oh yeah. And he proved it on that on that episode. And so we met on that two and a half day. It was well, technically a long range trip. Uh, we were on the legend out of San Diego and he was the, the, the pro for that trip teaching us all how to fish. What was really cool about that trip is he is a published author. He did write a book on long range sport fishing and everybody on that boat got a copy of it and was getting really hyped because that, that not only had a lot of good strategies, but it also had some beautiful images. It was just incredible. When I first went long range fishing many decades ago, uh, my first few trips, even though I'd read articles and come to the shows and talk to everybody, you think you're fully prepared and you got everything, but you actually have to do it. It's long range fishing when you're going way south through the big tuna in Oahu. It's a whole different animal than party boat fishing you know, off our coast here. Yeah. Some similarities, but some things very, very different. This is such an exciting time because you can now go out on a one day, two day, two and a half, three day trip. And you've got to be prepared to catch fish from 20 pounds to yeah. super cows, over 300 pounds, yeah. and everything in between. You, yeah. it's, it's Forrest Gump fishing. You know, it's a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get on any given yeah. trip. And it's so but easy to gotta, overpack. Right. You've got to have a range of tackle to be able to cover it all. 
But yeah, not bring everything hopefully that you own. It's just just can make you too much. The word is efficient. Yeah. yeah, over the years I've tried to make my tackle boxes more efficient to make sure that you can stay organized. I mean, if you end up with your tackle stored in five different places, when you need it in a hurry, it's like, it's in here. No, yeah. no, it's yeah. over there. No, That's put huge. it in my backpack. No, yeah. it's in my soft bag. No, it's in the field. Try to get get it compact and organized so every, all the important stuff is in the place we can find it. And with the bluefin yeah. fishing, it's very easy to go from, okay, these are 20 to 40. All right, these are 20 to 40. Like, guys, there's nothing down there under 60, 80 and bigger. So fish a bit, you've got to be ready to shift gears in a big hurry. You know, yeah. You've got to be ready, able to do it. Yeah. So if you guys ever see like, uh, like the legend or any other boats like that, that are going to have Creaky as the Seeker Pro on the trip, do what you can, get on that boat. Because you're going to learn a lot through osmosis. High concentrations of knowledge here, <laughs> low concentrations, and it just rubs off. So A lot, lot of experience, and we just try to pass it on. You know, pass it forward, play it forward yeah. to the new anglers coming up. And it's, it's really a joy to see them, instead of having a, a new experience, and half frustrating experience, to have an overall great experience. Uh, that's, that's, that's half the fun. Creaky. Well, yeah, thank my you pleasure. again, it's great brother. to see you again, and we will fish together soon, my brother. Excellent fish, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> this man, for most, doesn't need any introduction if you know anything about tuna or any part of social media that involves tuna. But for some of you on the channel, you may not know this man, but I am completely inspired all the time by this man's hustle, by this man's passion, by what this guy does on a daily basis that just makes me tired. <laughs> this is Ralph Rocha aka Acor Offshore, and I just want to introduce you to Thanks, a lot of people bro. that you might not have reached yet. No, I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that love, and I need it. I need yeah. your folks to just know what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is basically what any fisherman who inspires to fish on his own terms one day, maybe get out of the box of only fishing when you can and fishing when you want. Just that phrase one day just kind of just changed, not changed my life, but it started the pursuit that what do I have to do to fish when I want and not when I can? You know, uh, what has to change? And coming from being an electrician, having a good career, I just knew that wasn't enough, you know? And, and I, I had a passion for electrical at one time. Like I, I used to love to build and then the passion just, it just, it just faded away, you know? And I started to realize how much time I was spending in traffic, how much time I was spending away from my fam, and just knew there was a better way. I knew there was something I could do to get me on the water, and I still remember going to Cabo as a young kid, right? Yeah. And I seen the big boats, right? And it just, it just tripped me out, like, wow, there's boats like that? And what I, what I did know was, was it people like me on those boats, right? Yeah. And uh, I was just like, you know what? I just took it upon myself and said, you know what? That's gonna be my goal, you know? I wanna one day fish the, 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 the Bisbee Tournament, right? And why? Because my folks don't fish the Bisbee Tournament. Yeah. My folks don't even fish offshore. Like, you know, I'm from, I'm from a, a little city called Hawaiian Gardens, all right? There, there's a little community of fishermen there, right? Yeah. So even my own homeboys were like, why you wanna go fishing, dog? It's like, I, I just love fishing. You know, my story goes back to my mom dropping me off at Seal Beach Pier, packing me a lunch. And she's like, you sure you wanna go? Like, yeah, I wanna go, mom. And then, you know, fishing on the pier, then fishing on the rocks. And then I remember coming to the, to the shows, bro. And I would see yeah. the Parker, bro. And like, yeah. my mind was always like, my mind was so small that it, <laughs> that that at that time that yeah. I thought it was impossible for me to yeah. have something like that. Yeah. Trip on this before I started the brand. Before I started the brand, okay, uh, I was a big follower of Fishworks, and I printed a bunch of papers of all their clothing. Okay, yeah. I made a notebook of all their clothing, their shorts, and I had one homeboy that, that was in the graphic design. Okay, and I took him the notebook one day, 
because I knew he, he could help me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I showed him the notebook, right? And I said, hey, bro, like, I want to start doing this. You know, can you help me? Because I knew he could. Yeah. And Because I knew he was doing shirts and stuff. And, and you know what he told me? He said, uh, bro, there's too much competition in that space. Like, he says, uh, uh he was just like, bro, it's, it's going to be, it's like, it's, it's, like, I want to do it if I was you. Yeah. And just like that, bro, I believed him. I turned my back, went Ouch. home. I put that, that thing on, on yeah. with my records where I had it and, and just I let the dream die right there. Yeah. It wasn't until like YouTube came out and then I started to hear about dreamers and, and to think big. And, yeah. you know, I found Tony Robbins and I started to, 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 to find this new philosophy and I never heard of. just started yeah. to push and melt away. So every day in traffic, in the L.A. traffic, that's all well, listen, like, like I love hip hop. I'm a big hip hop head, okay? I stopped listening to hip hop on the, on the road and started, started just soaking up game. University on wheels. Yes. Right? You're University just learning. on wheels. And then um, just two years of that, bro. Yeah. And then two years later, I got that old Fishwork notebook again. And then because what like Tony Robbins and those guys told me was they're going to tell you no. They're going to tell you you can't do it. They're going to tell you guys uh, stay in your lane. They're going to tell you uh, just stick to your job, uh, be happy with whatever you're doing, and, 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 and that's good. And you know, I was an electrician. That's a big deal in my family. My mom and dad were proud I was an electrician. But uh, I was like, you know what? Went back, got that notebook again, and I started again. But this time, it was, I was the opposite. Like my, mm -hmm. I built the confidence in those two years on the road. So now like, I sat down at the dinner table with my family. I remember telling my dad, I said, I'm going to quit electrical work, and I'm going to do clothing. He's like, what the hell are you yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Like, and I started to tell everybody, bro. And I just started telling everybody just to see their expressions, bro. And it was yeah. always a screw face. Like, what? I was like, yeah, yeah bro. And I would, I would have pissed family off. Like, it's probably going to be a billion dollar company. And it was just like, it was insulting to people for me to say something. And like, yeah. but I would just say it, bro. Because to this day, that's what keeps me going. Because like, I'm going to tell you right now, the Coral Shore is going to be a staple in fishing. It's gonna, it's gonna, yeah. you know, it's gonna be big, and it's gonna let the people know that with grinding, hustle, and passion, you know, we're fanatical yeah. about fishing. Yeah. So we just have to get something tight. When I was on the journey, I said, okay, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an electrician. I'll become a, an electrical contractor, okay? Because I knew I had to start a business to get the freedom. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so here I am. I, I, I got the course for the, for the, for the, for the contractor, right? And then while I'm listening to like uh, Tony, he says, well, whatever you're doing, you better love it because yeah. you're going to have to give it everything you got and it's going to be your life. And I was just like, oh, no, it, it can't be electrical contractor. Was that the epiphany? That was the question that, you had to ask yourself? Yeah, that was more like, um, are you willing to be an electrician seven days a week, 12 hours a day? For this, I am. And let me just tell you guys, man, just to give you some some. Motor, some not even motivation, it's just some real talk, okay? Like, as I was getting ready for this show, I was under gun. Like, uh, I, didn't have, I didn't have the manpower. And it was like, bro, my body was tired. It was two at night, the rain was coming down uh, when I was, as I was getting ready. And I had this feeling like, this isn't worth it, right? Yeah. And then from all the information and data that I got, it was like, when you're gonna get close to the breakthrough, it's gonna feel uh. the hardest. Amen. Right? Amen. Bro. Take that. Yeah. And, and so I knew, like, oh, just keep going, bro. This, is feel, this feels so hard that I must be getting close. I'm not that guy that has it all up here. I'm not the smartest the smartest dude. And I already knew that. But, like, what, inspi what inspires me is guys in, the, like, in those Special Olympics that got one leg, <laughs> yeah. but they still go. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so that just gave me motivation. Like, okay, I'm a little slower. I'm not as fast but I will finish. You'll make it up in the grind, the yeah. hustle. And that's the reason for bringing him on, just to really inspire you guys. He dreams big and he takes action. And guys, just remember, we have one life to live. Are you gonna use it doing something that you don't love? That's the biggest question and that's the what this man embodies. So follow him on Facebook, follow him on Instagram. His link will be below to follow him on YouTube too. Please. He's putting cows on the boat. We have friends that have been on his boat Soon to be hooked to cook on his boat. He just put a tower on his parker. A lot going on for this man. 2023 is your year, brother.
Thank you, brother. I appreciate you big time. Yeah, I love man. hey. Oh, I love your hustle. Oh, when I saw when I saw your videos, bro, like, like wow. Like I know what it takes to make my videos. And when yeah. I saw yours, like, oh, this guy puts the work in. And and, and I, I just I can just look at your catalog and like, oh, we're the same, bro. You feel like you're there. That's like the whole goal is we want you guys with us this yeah. whole time. So be amongst us. Share these memories. We're making these memories right now, right in front of you. And you get to join along, and we love to have you. It's the same with Ralph. Guys, sure, guys. this is going to be epic. Stay tuned for what he's up to, what we're up to. And just so you know, after the Pacific Coast show ends, uh, we're going to be at the Bart Hall show in Long Beach. It's going to be... Uh, March 29th through the 2nd. I'm gonna uh, have a bigger booth. The Parker will be there. Guys, get, they wanna book a trip. I'm gonna be doing a raffle. I'm, every day, I'm gonna give out a free trip with a $100 purchase. So, from the last Del Mar show, we already got a crew that's going out. So, come check us out at the, Del Mar, at the Long Beach show, Bar Hall. So, we'll end it on that. We just gotta hustle and fish. Let's, Let's go. go. That concludes our coverage of the Pacific Coast Sport Fishing Show. And I just wanted to thank everybody who took the time and spoke with me about what they are up to and new things that they're doing in the fishing industry. I also wanted to give a special thank you to Monica and Leroy who drug me along, really. I wasn't planning on going on this trip, but they were insistent that I made it. And I am so glad I did. It was like a dream come true to hang out with all these people. It was like a reunion. And I just loved every moment of it. And I definitely am looking forward to doing it again next year and seeing you guys there as well. I will be at the Bart Hall Show coming Saturday, April 1st. So I would love to see you guys there too in Long Beach. Thank you guys for watching. Please support all the people that you saw on this episode. We'll catch you guys on the next one.